Varicose veins can not only be unsightly, they can also cause a lot of pain, which makes them a true medical problem. Our next guest is no stranger to daytime. Dr. Jamal Wozni from United Vein Centers is back to talk about why he is so dedicated to this field. Welcome back, Dr. Wozni. Thank you. So why did you decide to specialize in vein disease? Back when I was training many years ago, I was introduced to lasers uh, in the hospital. Prior to that, we were doing some stripping to take care of the veins. And when lasers came out, I thought they were phenomenal. I watched how the patients were treated quickly with laser, and I also watched how pleased they were after. So as a doctor, to be able to do something where you get such gratification made me fall in love with it. Well, let's talk about how this new laser treatment is helping your patients. What are they telling you? They're telling me that their, their lives are basically changed. Their pain is gone, their aching is gone, the swelling in their legs after sitting or standing for a while is gone. Uh, many of them are stating that they can actually sleep at night without the restless legs or the leg cramps. So it's affected their lives. They're able to become more active, which is a healthier lifestyle, and they're able to sleep better. Let's talk a little bit about the history of, of treatment of, of varicose veins. And the, you mentioned the stripping. What exactly did that mean? Because it sounds horrible. Correct. Uh, for, the, for at least 100 years, we've been treating veins. And we've done it by stripping the bad veins out. What we used to do is just basically the bad veins are right under the skin. Mm -hmm. We would rip them out. In doing so, it would take a long healing process. It was a pretty barbaric surgery. So you can't make a hole and just pull it out. You have to actually... Uh, you okay. have to strip it out correctly. Okay. These days, after 100 years, it's been about 10 years now, we have the lasers. And all we do is, uh, through a needle, slide a little laser fiber into the vein and burn it. And hmm. that relieves the patient of the diseased vein. Do you have to go down the length of the vein to get, to get it all? Is that how that works? Correct. Um, just like a blood draw, we will mm -hmm. put a needle in a vein. And through the needle, we will thread a little laser fiber. It floats inside the vein through its length and heats it closed. And when people are having this done, they're awake talking to you? They're awake, just like a blood draw. You'll feel mm -hmm. a pinch or two, mm -hmm. and they're awake. It's usually done within 30 minutes, and they walk out, resume all normal activity. So great the way this has come along. Now, where do you imagine this going from here? I mean, it's pretty great now, but can it get even better, do you think? It can. Over the last 10 years since lasers have come out, uh, the lasers have become more sophisticated and more gentle on the patient. Uh, they used to cause more soreness than they do now. Uh, what's on the horizon now is glue. So instead of burning the vein closed mm -hmm. with a laser, now um, we're looking at modalities that actually place a little bit of glue inside the vein. It gets injected in the vein, and that seals it shut and allows the body to absorb it. So would that be even a quicker recovery time? And Not that there is much recovery time at all. Correct. There's a little bit of soreness after this, uh, really no downtime. But yes, with glue, it should be even less. That is amazing. It is. So I imagine you've got patients telling their family doctors about the success they've had with you. So how is this affecting your business? Uh, the, the clinics are actually busier with uh, referrals from physicians because there are some physicians out there that have sent patients and seen the dramatic change in their patients. This in turn um, has helped these patients and increased physician referral.